maritime historian Robert Molster and John Craggy introduced the book Storm Warriors of the Suffolk Coast. Uh, here we are in the uh, lifeboat house down by the harbour in Southwold. It now houses an old lifeboat built in 1893, the Alfred Corry. One of the uh, people who helped design her was John Craggy, who had been uh, coxswain of the previous lifeboat, and he was helped by Sam May, who was also a coxswain at one time. John Craggy is a retired ship's master and pilot. John Craggy was my great grandfather, who was the coxswain of the Southwell lifeboats at the end of the 1800s. The first edition of the book was written in the 1930s by Ernest Reed Cooper. He used to uh, be uh, on sec of the lifeboat, honorary secretary, that is, running the thing. Uh, not only was he honorary secretary, but he used to go out in the lifeboat. And here it was with a bony box camera who produced the marvellous pictures which we've got in the book. It was quite unusual in those days, of course, for somebody to go afloat with a camera. It just wasn't done. There are many recollections of Southwold. Southwold Harbour entrance in his time was not like it is now. The harbour was rebuilt in 1906 and prior to that it was really uh, only a very shallow muddy creek. Lowstoff lifeboats, including the earliest ones, are all part of the story. The Francis Anne was the world's first sailing lifeboat actually. Uh, before that they'd all been rowing boats and uh, quite frankly not really suitable for the Suffolk coast. With famous names from other Suffolk lifeboat stations, Storm Warriors makes a fascinating read. And then, of course, there's James Cable of Oldborough, who was coxswain when the uh, lifeboat was lost one dreadful night in 1899. He actually came down to the beach, but he'd got a dreadful dose of influenza, and the doctor saw him and refused to let him go. The boat was thrown back on the beach and overturned on the beach and several people were killed underneath the boat. James Cable rushed off and got an axe and tried to cut through the bottom of the boat but of course the air boxes were in the way and he couldn't get through. There are many more tales of tragedy and of triumph in this new illustrated edition of Storm Warriors of the Suffolk Coast from local bookshops or online from www.poppyland.co.uk.